I'm getting really sick of flat tires, so you know, buddy of mine went and got this uh, solid inner tube yesterday. It's pretty firm. I mean, it feels about the same as your tire would feel when it's pumped up. The only thing is, is I heard it's very, very hard to put into the tire. But, uh, you know, the inner tubes now are made really lousy. I mean, they're garbage. There's no other way you can put it. The inner tubes now, the air tubes are garbage. I mean, on my bike, I don't get no more than five miles. Maybe ten miles tops before I get a flat. So if I put this in there, as long as the rubber don't fall apart or nothing, I mean, hopefully it'll work. I've been trying to make some. I've been trying to design something like this myself for a long time. I was thinking about putting caulk inside the tube or like inside the tire, but it didn't really, I don't know. I, I put a little bit of caulk inside the tire one day and all it did was crack. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to try and put this on the tire now. I'm going to make a video for you. This is my rim here, the old fashion steel rims you know you can actually run stuff over with a steel rim without twisting up your spokes and stuff you know <laughs> This stuff seems like a pretty decent rubber. Ah! Almost cut myself. Never mind, I did. Alright. This stuff seems like a decent rubber here, man. I mean... Wow. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how it works. I don't know. If it works out alright, I'll get one of these for my front tire. But I bought the last one that Walmart had, you see? I rode up to two different Walmarts yesterday. Neither of them had this. So I decided to ride to Kmart. Kmart didn't have it. So then I decided to ride to the Kmart all the way down on Street Road, which is like five or six miles from here. And sure enough, I got a leak in my tire on the way there. So... They didn't have what I needed, and I rode all the way back and had to fix the tire. And then finally, me and a buddy of mine found out where to get it. A Walmart all the way down in the ghetto had the last one. So that tells me that they really, really don't want you to get these kind of tires. They want you to constantly buy air tubes that really are not worth 10 cents. I mean, the way they're designed, they can't cost more than 10 cents to make because they're not even worth 10 cents especially you know the way they designed the design the straighter valves I don't know if you guys ever have trouble with the valves but I do because on my bike when you carry a lot of weight them valves don't hold up very good alright I'm gonna get this tire off of here now Just gotta let out whatever air is left in here Now this inner tube that's in here is a good 30 years old. It might be made a little better, hopefully. And the tire...
All right, so this is our, our tire. It's an old tire right here. Really old. I would say this is from like the 70s, man, because it's all cracked on the sides. I don't know if you can see it. It's all cracked, but the rubber is thick, man. This tire reminds me of a motorcycle tire. It's so thick you can't even squeeze it. So this, compared to this new one over here, it's like paper thin, dude. And I have an old inner tube there glued to it. He's probably was going to put an air tube in it, but I think I'm going to use that tire for this. Or what am I saying? I'm going to put this inside of that tire I'm thinking about. I'm not sure yet, though. I'm still thinking. Now, what I'd like to do before I put the solid tube in, I'd like to line the inside of this tire. I had it lined, but the glue didn't hold and it came off. That usually doesn't happen, but I probably did a lousy job knowing me. So, But uh, I want to try and get this tube to go inside here. Even though it's a solid inner tube, I don't really want to screw it up. With a thin tire like this, everything goes through it. I mean, nails, glass, first thing you run over, it's going to go through it. And since I spent $28 for that solid tube, I really don't want to screw it up. You know what I mean? Alright, I'm just going to try and do this the lazy, laid-back way. I'm going to try and wrap this rubber around this so I don't screw it up. And then I'm going to try and put it in the tire. <laughs> I don't know how, this, how good this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Figured I'd give it a try. Why not? I hope it fits. That's what I'm worried about. It might not even fit in the tire. Because uh, with the extra rubber. Alright, let me try this. Alright, I didn't have much luck there, but I got the solid tube inside the tire now at least so what I want to do now is try and get that rubber underneath of the solid tube since it's already in there I can try and hang on let me put the camera down maybe you can see a little better I want to try and put the tube like in between the tire and this that way I don't screw this thing up because this was like 28 bucks, man. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I mean, if you never get it flat again, it's worth it, but I don't want to screw it up, so. I don't know how I'm going to do this, though. It's going to be a little rough, but once you get it in, it should be all right. All right, right now I'm just going to shove this liner in the tire it don't even have to be straight don't even have to be alright now what I did here uh, what I did here was I shoved the liner behind the solid tube that way whenever I go over bumps and stuff in the cold at least I would think anyway it would give it some more cushion I don't know how rough it's going to be riding. I don't really care because me and my bike, I would say, go well over 100 miles in one month. Just, you know, back and forth from place to place. I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but at least my bike is like my horse. It's like my truck almost, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, with this solid tire and the rubber liner inside the tire here. I don't know. I think it'll give it a little more protection. Alright, well now I'm going to try and get this thing to go on the rim. And that's going to be the fun part. From what I hear, I don't know. About to find out. Now what I like is that there's no air stems. There's none of that stuff. You don't have to worry about air. I'm done with air tubes. <laughs> 
Now I just got to figure out how to get this thing on the rim and make it stay on the rim. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be difficult. Let me move the camera. I can tell this is going to be pretty difficult here because it's already it don't want to stay on. But we'll figure it out. Once she goes on, I heard she ain't going to come off. Alright, camera cut me off, it does it all the time, it'll cut off and then I gotta start the video again. It was a massive snowstorm and I dropped the camera in the snow and left it there for two days. So it's no surprise, it's a digital camera and was left in the snow. I'm surprised it even works, so I can't complain. Now this tire here, I can honestly say, really does not want to go on the rim. I don't know if you can see or not. I don't know how good the camera is there. I'm going to move it in a second. I just got to try and at least get it started. No matter what I do, this thing does not want to stay on the rim. I think I might have to come up with like a plan B or something because, I don't know. One side will stay on the rim, but the other side won't stay on. And then it just comes off. Hang on. I don't know if you can see the tire or not. I'll mess with the camera in a minute after I get this thing started a little bit. I haven't even got it started on the rim yet. Look, it's still coming off down there. And every time I pop on one side, the other side pops off the rim. So I got to I got to figure out what to do here. <laughs> okay, a trick I just found out myself was if you pop on one side of the tire to the rim first what I did was I popped this one side all the way around now I'm gonna try and pop this side right here onto the rim because uh, the other way I was trying it like the way you would do with a normal tube does not work with this it's too it's too big so what you gotta do at least what I'm gonna try is put on one side and then pop the other side on like with uh... with the back end of a wrench here or with uh... some kind of something flat like one of them bike tools or really whatever you can find that doesn't have a sharp edge i think would work All right, i got to one side now i'm going to try and pop this side on. Now, whenever you put this on, you got to make sure you push the rubber into the rim, too. Because it, it pops right back out. Matter of fact, it's popping back out for me. <laughs> it doesn't want to stay in. But once you get it in there, though, I mean, once you get it on, I don't think it'll come off. I'm going to try pressing down on the tube and pushing it in at the same time. All right, seems to be going on all right. Just got to pop these sides here into the rim. That's why it's good to do one side at a time. Man, I don't know if this thing will ever come off once you get it on. You might have to like rip your tire off. Because this thing is tight, man. 
But what's good though is that your tire is like hard as a rock. So you should go fast. Man. I just gotta get this last part on and then we should be good. Alright, I'm gonna try using a wrench for this. I don't know how good it's gonna work, but. Alright, there she is. She's on. She's on. Oh, my reflector. Broke the reflector. Oh well. She's on. Tore up the tire a little bit, but no big deal. No big deal. I can always mess with that. At least now. No more flat tires, my friends. You can find one of these solid tubes. I mean, it's better than getting a flat tire. It's a pain to put on, but once it's on, it's on for good. You know. All right. Well, I'm done. I'm putting that uh, uh, solid tube in the tire here. I don't know if anybody was out there watching or not. If you are, I hope I taught you something. And uh, if you'd like to send me a message or talk, uh, it doesn't matter to me. I'll put my email address underneath the video. Because I don't even know if you can send messages on YouTube anymore. Google Plus took over and, you know, they messed everything up. So, I'm sure you already know that, though. Anyway, if you like to talk or send an email, whatever, feel free to send me an email anytime. The email address is below in uh, the description box. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.